Welcome back to the 50th part in this Python series on the Django framework. In this one we're going to carry on with that homepage that we were working on by customising our form. Uh, so by that I mean adding a another class to it and attributes so that we can not only add our own CSS to it but we can add existing classes from things like Bootstrap or Foundation which are CSS frameworks that we can also use. To do that, I'm going to go to the form that we are using to power this page and I'm going to look, so we've got a simple form which just has one element, which is this post element here and this is the one that I want to customise and all I want to do is add a uh, bootstrap class to this so that it it sort of looks more like a, a bootstrap form which is slightly nicer than the current form that we have at the moment. To be able to do that I need to add a, a thing called a widget so what a widget is in Django is a little thing that gets inserted into your form uh, in the form of HTML, like an input for example. There could be an input which has the ability for a user to input a short amount of text into that box, sort of like we have here. And in fact, because this is a character field in the model that we're using, and we've got forms.character field here, it's actually by default using that particular widget so the text input widget which you can see in the Django documentation it has a number of built-in widgets and you can see here this first one is a text input which is the most sort of common and the HTML that it sort of translates to is an input tag in HTML with type equal to text so that that allows us to be able to input text like this uh, because our browser recognizes it that it's a form with an input and it needs to allow the user to input the text. So what we want to do is modify this HTML input tag so that it contains not only the actual data itself, so the, the type of equals text that we've got at the moment, but also we want to add our own attributes to it. So we want to add a class attribute. So to do that, I want to go back to the form that I was using to power that home page, and I'm going to add what's called a widget. I'm just going to say widget is equal to forms.textInput so this is the, the widget that we're using which is this uh, this text input widget here. Now this is what it was already using but instead of just using the forms.textInput by default just like this instead what I want to do is I want to add a parameter and that parameter is going to be atras like that so short for attributes and what that is is it's a dictionary of all the attributes that I want to put on this input tag in the HTML so type is one of those attributes now what I can do is I can say class and then the class is equal to in this case it's going to be a form control because that's the bootstrap class that is going to be used in this case to make our form look slightly nicer and let's see how that looks for now so if I go back to this uh, you can see the development server is just updated and if I refresh we get the the text box so it's a little bit big and we can fix that using bootstrap if we want to but that's pretty good I mean it allows us to enter text and we can still submit it and use it just like we were previously except now it has that bootstrap class on it so one other thing that I can do, because this is sort of a bit blank at the moment, uh, is now firstly I want to get rid of this text here because I think it's a little bit ugly and I prefer to do it a different way. So I'm going to change this post text uh, and, and actually get rid of it from this place entirely. So to do that I need to go to the home.html. I'm going to change where it renders this particular form. So in the form we have form. At the moment it's just rendering form but what I want to do instead is just do form dot the field name form dot post and what that's going to do well if, if we do render both the screen at the same time I can, I can show you the difference one just renders the post bot input box itself and the other also renders this help text that we don't particularly want so I'm just going to get rid of that form for now that does also remove the uh, form errors as well so if there's an error uh, that you managed to get by putting in some invalid data. I wonder if you could show that with a number. Uh, 
the validation won't actually show up, although because of our redirect I don't think you'd see that anyway. But just to bear in mind, if you wanted to actually show the form errors as well, then you would do form.errors, and that would just output the raw errors, which you can then format however you want. Now, this is okay, but what I also want is, I need to add a break here because there's no, not enough space there, so I just do break like that, space it out a bit, and now what I want to do, because this is just a text box and it hasn't really got any guidance, so I'm going to actually add another attribute to the class, which we can do through our forms, and yes, I know this isn't necessarily ideal by ad adding attributes uh, in the back end, because you don't tend to want to incorporate the uh, style of your website with your back end, you want to try to keep them separate normally. But this is sort of the best that we have in Django without using any third party frameworks. And you're more than welcome to use something like a third party framework, I think Crispy Jan Django Crispy Forms or something like that on uh, PyPI, uh, or other packages as well, I'm sure there's lots of them available on there. But in this case I just want to use vanilla Django, so we'll do it like this. And I'm going to say placeholder and that is going to be, let's say, uh, uh, write a post, write a post, and what this is going to do, if you haven't sort of experimented much with this HTML tag, is if you say placeholder is equal to some text, what that actually does is it puts the text sort of in this box, as you might have seen on some websites, so now it says write a post, and I think that looks a lot better than the original form that we had to begin with, where it had that sort of uglier post text, and uh, it was sort of separate. So I prefer the way that it does this, and then only when you start typing uh, does it actually get rid of that. Now one last thing I want to show you before I finish is the, uh, if we look at the developer tools here, and we inspect this form element, we can actually see on this input, uh, we do have not only the class we've added and the placeholder, but we've also got id equals id post, and that is actually put on by the default Django form, so if you want to add your own CSS, then that is probably going to be the easiest way for you to do that. Now, you could also add a class if you wanted to, uh, like I just showed you, and then you could add the same styling to multiple form elements, or, perhaps a better way of doing it is putting a class on the form itself and then you could style the whole form. That's all for styling forms in this video, but in the next one we're going to carry on with a bit more of the core functionality of the website.